Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see what is going on Fox and Tenacious Fox here with another video. Today I am going to be going over my draft analysis for the MPDL. Uh, so first off I want to say if you do like this video make sure you leave a like and if you're brand new here make sure you hit that sub button. Alright so I did join a brand new league called the MPDL and we finally got, or I finally, I finally got done with my picks. Uh, there's still, the draft is actually still going on. Um, so my first pick I got the fourth overall pick. I picked Zygarde 50%. Um, I thought this was a decent first round pick. There were some other things that I maybe would have wanted, um, but this thing has got excellent stats. I mean, it's a little bit low on the speed side, but defensively, attack wise, HP wise, um, this really is gonna be a powerful mod. Um, there's multiple different um, choices I can run with items. You know, I can run Choice Band, Choice Scarf, uh, maybe not choice specs, but maybe that could be something that I try out. Um, leftovers just to do like a defensive variant. Um, and of course, this thing can always set up and sweep with Dragon Dance. Uh, I really don't think I need to go over this mod that much, but it's got extreme speed, earthquake, and of course, probably it's the thing that it's most known for is Thousand Arrows. Uh, and this can hit flying types, so really, this is going to be a really great move and it's something that I can use. Uh, so that was the first pick that I made. For my second pick, for my second pick, I saw a certain mon in tier two, and I was like, that thing is way is pretty good for a tier two, um, and that mon is Mimikyu. Um, and of course, it's got the disguise ability. You're, I mean, that's the only ability it has. You wouldn't want to run anything else on it, anyways. But again, there are a lot of things that I can run with this. Uh, obviously I can, it's probably not going to be a choice man set, but uh, it's always going to be able to set up and basically I'm always going to have a chance to set up and sweep with, with this thing. And I start, I'm starting to round out that fairy dragon steel core that I wanted for this. Um, another thing that it gives me, well first of all it gives, gives me a fairy type. The other thing it gives me is a spin blocker. So if I, if I think they're going to go for a spin, uh, rapid spin, I can just switch this thing in. Um, put myself on the front foot and maybe get off two two sword stances um, before they can even break the disguise and try to hit me. Um, and then I'm I'm sitting here with, you know, um, two I'm plus three and I can just shadow sneak sneak them until they they go down. Um, he's still got a pretty great move pool. Not like uh, actually yeah it is it is a pretty good move pool. He's got drain punch as well, so I can uh, get some more health back. Um, this is going to be a really, I, I have a feeling that Mimikyu is going to be one of those mods that really puts in work for me this season. So for my first tier 3 pick, now I'm thinking, alright, I need something, I've got two pretty uh, pretty good sweepers, now I need something to do some utility and something that I can do um, some defensive work with. And I'm like, you know what, I love a lowland Grimer, so let's go with the Alolan Monk Muck. Um, obviously, it's got. I mean, power, power of Alchemy isn't gonna really be anything, but Gluttony, I can see myself using it, but probably most likely I'm gonna be using Poison Touch. Obviously, another thing is we can run Rocky Helmet on it. We can use uh, Black Sludge. Uh, we could use like uh, one of the uh, Restoration Berries. We could use Black Glasses just for <laughs> shits and gigs, you know. Uh, we could use an Air Balloon to you know, prevent being hit from Earthquake. And we also, we can also go super defensive and go with Assault Vest. Um, it's got decent, it actually has really decent attack. Actually, pretty good attack, if I do say so myself. Um, lower defense, but, you know, we can just go, you can go something like, like that, and then maybe put the Assault Vest on it, and now we've got a pretty strong attacker as well that can take some hits. Um, obviously, it's got access to knockoff. It's got explosion. Um, I can see, see myself using that. Crunch is another good dark move. Um, but obviously, knockoff is probably going to be the biggest biggest reason to have on, on my team. Pain split is another one, that another move that can be super useful. Uh, I just see this thing as being so useful for my team, and that's why I was like, I have to pick this thing up. 
Okay, so for my second tier um, three pick, I was like, you know what? I need some U-Turners or Volt Turners on my team as well. And I didn't have a Grass type or an Electric type, so I was like, let's go with Rotom Cut. Because um, Rotom Cut is another one that is pretty, pretty defensive, has kind of lower speed. Um, but, so, I mean, I'm probably going to be either running Choice Specs or Choice Scarf on it. Uh, I can't really see myself running other things. Maybe Leftovers. Um, that, that's obviously a possibility. Uh, but it's got access to Defog, which is one thing that I needed as well, because I didn't have a Defogger yet. Um, and Foul Play, probably not going to use that, but I, I guess I could. Um, if it just, just kind of happened that way. It's got Dark Balls. Um... Shadow Ball, Thunder Punch, of course, Thunder Wave. Um, it's got Trick. I can maybe use it to trick some uh, trick, like a Chorus Scarf, onto something that you know my opponent really, really needs. It's got Will O' Wisp. So this is just like in the tier three. I was just like, well, I'm just gonna go into tier three and get all my utility mons or some decent utility mons, and then we'll we really be looking at a good draft here. Okay, so for my tier four, I was like, you know, I've got a decent Defogger and Volt Turner, but I really don't have a great one. Um, so then I was like, you know, I'm looking at tier four and I'm like, let's go for Creagonal. Cause I also didn't have an ice type. Um, and Creagonal is so under, underappreciated in the uh, draft format. So underappreciated. It doesn't have great health uh, or HP. It doesn't have great defense. Uh, obviously you're not gonna really use its attack stat really, uh, but it has so good its special attack is decent. It is usable, but its special defense and speed are pretty good for a tier 4 mod. Uh, actually, really good for a tier 4 mod. Um, obviously, it's got Defog, uh, so I could run Defog on it. I probably would run Rapid Spin. Uh, that's the main reason that I wanted Creagonal. Um, it's got um, decent, re it's got re re reliable recovery, excuse me, um, and recover. Uh, it's got signal beam sub. There's a lot of things that I can use this for. Um, obviously, Aurora Veil would have been a pretty decent one to get. Obviously, I, um, spoiler alert, I did not get a hail user. Um, I did think about it, you know, in the tier five, I, I did think about getting like something like uh, Aurorus. That was one of the mons that I was thinking about. I actually didn't realize Kragan Krag all got uh, Aurora Veil. So maybe that would have been a good uh, mod to pick up, but I did not pick it. Um, obviously, it's got Flash Cannon, so it's, this is another option we can use against Fairy types. Uh, freeze Dry, gonna be super effective on Water types. This thing, again, I cannot stress enough how much I think Creagonal is underappreciated in teams. Obviously, people that have it love it, but uh, it's typically not one that you go for. So, for my Tier 5 mod, I was like, um, I need a stealth rocker and um, I could use another setup sweep and so and also I didn't have a water type at this point either so I was like you know what let's go for Barbarical uh, there was a, a couple of other Pokemon that I looked at this in this area the Barbarical um, as far as in the uh, as far as, far as stealth rockers and setup sweepers in the tier, um, or I guess water types, water type stealth rocking, um, it's a very niche. It's got a niche. It's got a very small niche. But anyway, it's got really great defense and really good attack. And as far as the other shell smashers that I could have taken at this point, it had the highest speed. So I was like, that's what I was trying to get. That's the point I was trying to get across. Um, it's got the highest speed. Obviously, it's got tough claws. So that's already going to multiply its power. This thing can really, really take some people out. Um, obviously, if I get any chance to set up with this thing, people are going to be in trouble. Um, and, and the best part is it can get stealth rocks, uh, it can get bulk up, obviously we're not probably going to use bulk up, um, super power, X scissor, it can taunt if I really needed to, it can, I can use switcheroo if I wanted to like, you know, really throw somebody off, like, um, I don't even know what I would do, but, uh, there's a lot of moves that I can use with this thing, and I was like, I've got to get it, and of course, it's got liquidation as well, such a powerful move, um, and Plus two with the, uh, or after the shell smash. 
After the shell, shell smash and then plus the tough claws, this thing is going to be hitting things like an absolute truck. Like, holy crap. Okay. So. Oh, it doesn't let me add another Pokemon. Yeah, rip. Okay. So. Just go here and select a new, new one. So now we're at uh, my Mega Pokemon and my four free... Uh, free picks. Uh, obviously we had 400 points to pick our free picks and of course if we picked a lower tier Mega we would get um, some extra points but I wasn't really worried about that and I was like you know what I just want to go for straight power um, and let's go with I didn't have a fighting type or an, a psychic type at this point and I was like let's go for Mega Kalade. Um, this is look at that speed stat 110 115 special defense and 165 attack obviously it's got really bad health health but look if we put this all the way up make it adamant where is that oh my gosh that is just so terrifying right there 471 of course inner focus isn't that great of an ability uh, can't flinch though so you can't like use fake out on us or anything uh, it's got Drain Punch so we can get some health back, Earthquake, Fire Punch, this thing can just do absolutely put in some work. It's got Pain Split as well, which actually I didn't even know about. Um, probably wouldn't use it, but that is that is an option here. Uh, it's got Substitute, we can Sub, Swords Dance, Taunt, Thunderbolt, <laughs> we wouldn't use Thunderbolt, but uh, Thunder Punch we might use, Will-O-Wisp, X-Scissor, Zen Headbutt. Uh, this is just such a powerful mod uh just such a powerful mod it's got leaf blade as well knockoff it's got a great move pool it's got great stats when i saw that it was still available um i was like you know what i really wanted megalopony but when i when megalopony got taken and this thing was still available i was like i gotta get this if somebody else gets this it's gonna be a, a nightmare to prepare for so let's not let's not have to prepare for it. Let's make them prepare for it. Uh, so this is what we got. Okay, so for our very first uh, free pick, I had already started the fairy uh, fairy dragon steel core, and there was one type that I did not get yet. Uh, that was steel type. And looking at my options, Celesteela got went, went second pick overall, and I was like, that was the one that I wanted to get for my fairy, fairy dragon steel core. Unfortunately, I didn't get it, but I was like, you know what? There's another mon in the tier one that kind of is the same. Um, it doesn't do the same thing, but it's got the same typing. And that mon is Skarmory, um, and obviously Skarmory. Look at his defense. I can basically switch this in on almost anything except for like an electric attack. Uh, it's got sturdy, weak armor. Uh, really, really this thing can can really do some work. Uh, it's got some, some moves in here that I'm not really going to talk about because I want to be able to use them. But stealth rocks and spikes, that was the big one. Uh, the big reason I picked this. And of course tailwind as well. Could use taunt, whirlwind. Uh, this is just the all around utility user. And of course... If somebody wants to hit it with an electric track, I can switch straight into the Zygarde and get some serious momentum um, in the battle. And that's a big reason of why I picked this. Of course, it's got counter as well, defog. So this is a really great mod to have, and I'm glad I, I got it. I'm glad somebody else didn't get it. Okay, so what I was going to pick for my tier 5 was going to be Zepstrika. I got sniped. That was okay. I was like, you know what? I, I was a little ups sad about it because I really wanted to use up striker because that gave me because uh, it has lightning rod and um, motor drive and sap zipper so I, it, I would have gotten two immunities with it uh, but there was another Pokemon that it was in tier 4 that had um, that still has motor drive and that is Electivire um, obviously I can run I can run the uh, Vital Spirit on it, but really the reason I picked it was Motor Drive. I already have a an electric mutiny with Zygarde, but I was like, you know, if I can get another one um, and maybe like use Electivire as a pre-switch, you know, maybe scout for 
scout for the hidden power ice or something, uh, some kind of ice type attack so that I don't lose my Zygarde on a switch in, uh, get predicted or something. And this thing is going to still take that attack uh, pretty well. And if they go for the electric attack, then I get plus one speed. And now I'm, now I'm in the E. Uh, now I've got the momentum and I can take him out. And obviously this thing, I can run it either physically offensive or specially offensive. Uh, there's a bunch of different items that I can use for it. And of course, it has a great, great move pool for a tier 4 mod. A great move pool. Tier 4 has just been... That was actually the place that I picked the most Pokemon. Because I thought the tier 4 mods that we had were pretty great. Um, obviously, you can run the Psychic as well. Like, oh my gosh. It's got such a diverse and good move pool. And I'm excited to be able to use this thing. Okay, so now... If you've watched my, my videos before, you may know that I like to use a certain monkey type Pokemon um, in Draft Leagues because it's just so annoying to deal with. And that guy is Ambipom. It's got Technician, Pickup. Pickup isn't really going to be used, but Skill Link as well is another uh, ability that is going to be great for this. Uh, I can use Choice Scarf. I could probably run a Focus Sash. I could run a Leftover. Well, probably not Leftovers, but I could run a Life Orb as well. Um, so this is going to have a lot of different options. Obviously, a big one that I can use with this is, uh, obviously, it's got a pretty good move pool as well. Um, doesn't get Swords Dance, which is pretty unfortunate. It gets Nasty Plot, but I don't see myself, I don't see myself uh, setting that up with that. But it does have, uh, you get Switcheroo, so that's, that's something that I can use. I can switch my... Uh, item to my opponent excuse me it gets u-turn which was this was a big reason why i got it um i only had one volt turner currently and wrote him cut and i was like you know what? i gotta get another u-turner or something uh so i picked this guy up and got the u-turn as well gets thunder wave uh this is really a decent mod gets gunk shot which is so powerful obviously if we miss that'd be super unfortunate gets foul play gets fire punch fake out is gonna be so huge because of that technician boost um and of course we do like uh power gym or or not power gym um normal gym or something uh then we will <laughs> really really have some uh, power there as well so for my final pick, I was looking at my team and I was like, I don't have a fire type. And my my mascot is still available. So of course, I picked the Delphox. Um, for those of you that are watching this and don't know, I love this Pokemon and I really, my opinion is that I really, I use it really well. Um, I may use it a little bit differently this season as I have in the past. Obviously, I might try to do a Calm Mind set, a subset, um, a trick set, a Will-O-Wisp set, a super, like, specially defensive because it's got such good special defense. Like, look at that. Um, and, of course, it gives me an option to Wish Pass as well. So, I mean, that's another, it's just an option that I've got that I get with picking this Pokemon. Alright, so let me know in the comments what you guys think of my draft, if you think I should have done something else, if I maybe could make it one change in the future. Um, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Fox out. <laughs>